Madrid, which is actually one of the most traveled cities in all of Europe and in the world, cosmopolitan in nature and welcoming with its people. The capital of Spain entices us to experience their festive atmosphere, give in and savor their wide gastronomic offer, which is also one of Europe's top shopping destinations. While all this is happening, Madrid is rich in monuments and landmarks galore. And in this video, we're going to show you everything that Madrid has to offer. So buckle in your seatbelts and get ready for an adventure to the top 10 best destinations in Madrid. Number 10. Temple of Dabad The Temple of Dabad is the oldest building in Madrid, which is actually 2,200 years old. But it wasn't actually built in Madrid. It was built in the region of Nubia in ancient Egypt. The Temple of Dabad will also let you discover one of the best sunsets you will ever see. Number 9. Plaza de la Vila In the Plaza de la Vila, you get to find the most ancient civil building, which would be the tower and house of Lujanes, Torre y Casa de los Lujanes, from the 15th century, stylized in Gothic Mudihar, which boasts having two interesting buildings for travelers to see in the same plaza, the House of Cisneros, a Renaissance palace from the 16th century, and La Casa de la Vila, a Baroque palace from the 17th century. Number 8. Puerta del Alcalia The Puerta del Alcalia is honestly one of the most popular symbols in Madrid. In addition to the monumental function, it actually served as a gateway into the city until just a century and a half ago actually. It's one of the first Arc of Triumph built in Europe after the fall of the Roman Empire. Portrayed in a neoclassical style, the Puerta del Alcalia was built in the 18th century by direct commission from Carlos III. Number 7. Great Way Started in 1910, it was settled that the Great Way was the main artery and the heart of Madrid. Boasting many iconic buildings like the famous Metropolis Building, actually one of the most photographed buildings in the city because of its neo-renaissance style. The Great Way was completed in 1911 with 45 meters and was the tallest building in Madrid for at least 10 years until came the first skyscraper, the Telefonica Building. The Telefonica Building was actually the first skyscraper in Europe nearly 90 meters tall, the first of its kind, and the tallest structure of this time period, and finally, the Capitol Building. The Capitol Building is a jewel of curvilinear rationalism in the era. Number 6. Sibeles The Plaza de Sibeles is one of the most popular squares in Madrid and actually in all of Spain. Currently located in the Palacio de Comunicaciones, which means the Palace of Communications, the Sibeles is a beautiful eclectic building built from the beginning of the 20th century. Currently the city hall and in the center of the square, you can find the famous Fuente de Sibeles or the Sibeles Fountain, which is the first of the five mythological fountains that formed the Prado Hall, commissioned by Carlos III. Number five, Plaza Mayor. The Plaza Mayor, which is the main square in Madrid that was finally finished in the 17th century, and when we say finally, it's because the Plaza Mayor actually caught fire three times and was devastated by that. The third time was back in 1790, and this area was the only structure that was left standing, which actually served as a reference to rebuild the rest of the plaza. Called the House of Bead or La Casa de la Panaderia, back in the year 2017, the Plaza Mayor commemorates its fourth centenary, which was back in 1617 when it began to build nearly 400 years ago. Number 4. Puerta del Sol The Puerta del Sol, or the Gate of the Sun, is the beating heart of Madrid, a social meeting point full of life at whatever time of day or night, 
From its beginnings in the 15th century, the Puerta del Sol has influenced some of the most important events in the history of the Spanish nation. The statue in the area symbolizes Madrid, referred to as the Shield of the City, which depicts a bear climbing on an arbutus tree, which is the official symbol of Madrid, which actually used to be a female bear. Also in Puerta del Sol, you can discover the Real Casa de Correos, or the Royal House of Mail, where the locals meet to hear the chimes every single year. Number 3. The Royal Palace of Madrid The Royal Palace and its surrounding area is definitely a must-see in Madrid. The majestic building that many travelers can visit actually dates from the middle of the 18th century neoclassical in style and clearly shows the interests for geometric and proportionate forms. Typical architecture of enlightened despotism during this era. One of the largest palaces in the world and is currently open to the public as a museum. Surrounded by beautiful gardens like the Campo del Moro, Sabatini Gardens, and the East Plaza. And if you're looking for a breathtaking sunset, you'll surely find it in the surrounding areas. Number 2. Retiro Park Retiro Park, or Parque del Retiro, is for sure one of the most pleasant urban parks in the world, ideal for relaxing in tranquil walks, sunbathing, or even paddling in the center of the city. The park had its origins in the 17th century as the second residence and place of rest for King Philip IV. In this very lake, Felipe IV made battleship simulations in which he himself participated in. Back in the 17th century, the park is filled with many other monuments that you need to visit if you're interested in the history of the area. Like the Crystal Palace is a perfect example of iron architecture, and inside, you can discover quite a few expositios, or the curious fountain of the fallen angel. The statue of the fallen angel is one of the few monuments around the world dedicated to Lucifer, the king of darkness, standing 666 meters above sea level, which is quite interesting to say the least. Before we show you guys our number one pick as the best place to visit in Madrid, we would be doing you a disservice if we didn't show you these honorable mentions to you travelers. So here they are. Monumental Plaza Las Ventas This majestic neo mudejar styled circular square is one of the largest buildings in the world. The famous Plaza de Toros Monumental de Las Ventas, which was inaugurated in the first third of the last century when bullfighting was still considered a prestigious occupation, which was closely associated with the image of Spain, in present times, this perception has changed quite a lot, being seen by a great majority of the Spanish locals, especially the younger generations, as a cruel practice of the past traditions. Santiago Barnabu Stadium Although its architectural design does not set it among the great stadiums in the world, it is nevertheless one of the most traveled by football fans from any backgrounds. Given to the worldwide reputation of Royal Madrid, which has been awarded by FIFA as the best club of the 20th century. Basilica of San Francisco El Grande Its main facade makes it quite difficult to get an idea of its large stature. To appreciate the gigantic proportions of this temple, you'll need to step inside the structure. Once inside, you'll be able to experience what is the largest dome in Spain and one of the largest Christian domes in the world. This impressive neoclassical basilica is one of the most unknown and least visited monuments in Madrid. So here we are, the number one spot, the Walk of Art. El Paseo del Arte, or the Walk of Art, which brings together the masterpieces of the most important paintings in the world, collected by the Prado Museum, the Fisian Bornemisa Museum, and the National Museum of Art Reina Sofia from Queen Sofia. The visit to these three museums is one of the most quintessential travel activities to do in Madrid. 
and you'd be a fool to ignore any of them because of the experiences you will have when you do travel to Madrid. With an endless list of destinations, activities, and experiences everywhere to be had in Madrid, each and every journey will always fill you with something different and unique. Were there any other traveler destinations we haven't mentioned? Comment down below and we'll be sure to check them out. What are you waiting for then? Gather your travel buddies, buckle in your seatbelts, and get ready for an adventure. And with that, until next time.